So we're rebaiting all our pots for the second night. And we're gonna start with the beef mints. We got chicken mints, um, a dirty old shark and... So I caught that shark a few weeks ago and as I got it to the boat, a bigger shark took a chunk out of its back and killed it. So um, that's why I didn't release it and use it for this video. And the fourth bait was lamb. So we'll start with the beef mints. This nice little creek. We're just going to throw the beef mints in here. So, second pot, we're going to throw this little shark in. Super smelly, so hopefully this one will get a heap of crabs. So the second second pot, we've chose the uh, chicken mints. I'm going to put that um, in a nice creek just in front of us. So this is the fourth pot with the um, big chunk, chunk of lamb. find a pot uh, spot to put that. So this is the fourth pot going in with the lamb. So we've rebaited the four pots with four new baits. We're gonna give them an, um, overnight again like last night. We'll be back tomorrow to check them. So this is the first pot that had the beef mints in it. Yep, and there's one, one good keeper. big buck on the beef mints. So this is the second pot we put in with the shark and um, we actually put it down the river a bit more so the big tides have moved us. I don't know how we'll go. Yeah, there's two good, good bucks in there and a little one. It's a little female. 
it's a little female. It's got to go back. That's a big buck. Too. So that's the second one, well and truly legal. So that's another keeper for the bull shark. Oh, yeah, shark. So this is the third pot with the chicken mints in it. Looks like a little male. There's a big female there and a cod. It's been eaten. There's no keepers in that one. So this is the big female that we caught on the chicken mints, which you can't keep in Queensland, but just to show its size. It's a big crab, but it's gotta go back. And that's the little male which is undersized, so he's got to go back too. So this is our fourth and final pot, which had the lamb in it. That's definitely our biggest catch. Heaps of crabs and there's two definite keepers. So we'll get them out and show you. So there's one of the keepers. They got two like that. And a lot of the others are little like that. So we'll throw all them back. Um, and get the two keepers out and tie them up. So that's the other crab, another keeper. We got five small ones in that pot that we threw back and the two big keepers. So the lamb definitely caught the most. So I'm back home from our trip now. I'm just cooking up some of the crabs and a bit of garlic butter and chili. Um, we had a good trip, got some nice crabs. All the baits did pretty well. Um, there was the prawn shells and slice ham that got nothing, which I think was just poor pot placement. Um, the best two, I'd say, was the shark and the lamb. They got the most 